So if you're so smart, can you figure out how to turn on one of those flashlights? Yeah. Shut up. That, Thank you. That just happened. Dale, I don't think you're strong enough. Prove me wrong. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you can, you talk to me in here. It's just you and me. Can you turn something on? Oh, thank you so, so much. That is awesome. Love that. Can you turn that or something on? If you have ever been held in this little tank, you have. Wow, okay. Hey, just so you know, you just said that and I'm getting some funky, it's like coming and going. I don't know. Like, it really, it, I feel like I'm gonna go look around the corner and somebody's just like chilling. Cap off, cap off flashlight. Flashlight and cap off. In 1882, the Lawrenceburg Volunteer Fire Department was established with company number one on Short Street and company number two on Shipping Street. They were identical Queen Anne style buildings and had stables in the back to house the horse-drawn pumper that assisted at the fire scenes. City offices were on the second floor that some say still has the holding tank and some say it's a vault. We can only imagine and envision the tragedies that the volunteers witnessed. Many important city discussions were had on the second floor and probably not all were pleasant outcomes. Join us as we attempt to communicate with the past. What or who still watches from the shadows? Hey lovelies, welcome back to our channel, Get Spooky Society. We're back in Lawrenceburg, Indiana at Firehouse Number One. That was built in 1882. It is currently Proof 124, which is a bar, which is really cool. You guys really need to come here and check it out if you're local. But yeah, um, Dale and I have been kind of doing a little bit of a walk around and we're excited to get started. So if you haven't, please smash that subscribe button, give us a huge thumbs up, comment, share, anything you do for free helps our channel. And I would only wear this fire hat for you guys because it is really heavy and it's messing up my hair. <laughs> Dale, it's time to get, get spooky. Okay. All right. So. We're here in Lawrenceburg at Firehouse One, right? Number yes. one. Yep. Um, built in 1882. Because there's two of them, right? There's two of them. They're identical to each other, apparently. Queen Anne architecture, I believe it said. Yep. And so we'll have to check out to see if the other one is still intact. Yeah. What? But we're at yeah. station number one. Okay. And so we're going up here to the upstairs for the first time, and we have not been up here. And they use this for like a government. This building. was like a city, city, they had city meetings up here. So now it's a bar. Wow, this is really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely up here. So they had, now wait, is this the holding tank or maybe, um, it might have been a... See that, see that room right there? Yeah. That was a temporary holding cell for for people who committed minor offenses. So, but this was on a court, so was it... I, that's what I don't It doesn't understand. make a whole lot of sense either, okay, so but that is what it was. Okay. And there's still the bars are on the window outside. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And it's filled with, oh, wow. Okay. Now look how little it is. <laughs> Very little. Like you would be, oh, look at this. Now wait, wait a minute, Stephanie. What? Look over here. I know. I think wait, it... you're leaving me in the dark, and I don't really, <laughs> like, I really had a really cool bottle. Wait, I want you to see this bottle label, because it's pretty damn Oh, wow. Exotico. Tequila. Of course I would pick tequila. <laughs> Sugar Skull. Love it. 
Is this the maybe what you're pointing to? Okay, well, I see, water. this is what messed me up was this gate thing. But I have a lot of feels in here. Okay, but I think this might be the door. But is this? See this? Because Jenny said this that there might have been a vault up here. See, no, that's good. the that's the cell. That's the cell. That's the cell. The jail cell. Oh. See, it looks like a vault too. Okay. Uh, a lone challenge in here. And then outside there's bars on that window. On this window. Yep. That we can't see because it's blacked out. Correct. Okay, I have a lot of fields in here. There's going to be a lone challenge in here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Alright. I don't know what that other room is though, but that's pretty cool. Well, because that looks like it was a, like a vaulted door too. Yeah. Look at the frame. Right. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And that bag's moving because there's air in here. Right. Not paranormal thing. I mean, I wish it was paranormal, but... I love this space. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of fields up here. Okay, good. And then there's a lot of challenge. And those, I guess, are bathrooms. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, yeah, ladies and men. I don't know what this is. Maybe an office. I know there was an office up here. There's an outdoor balcony. Um, this is a holy oh, what's this? Um, this goes upstairs. Oh wow. There's a ladder. Do we know ladder. Do we know if there's a basement in this building? I do not know, but I would assume there is. But there is definitely ooh. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Most like just, you know storage and stuff okay okay I like it. okay <clears throat> we got a flashlight out here it's already going on yep okay good luck which one, can I the bar? It's in the middle, in the middle. Okay. I am in what they believe was a drunk tank by myself, while the rest of them are outside in the regular meeting room. Can you talk to me in here? It's just you and me. Can you turn something on? Oh, thank you so, so much. That is awesome. Love that. Thank you. I'm giving you this other device that you can say words. Can you turn that or something on if you have ever been held in this little tank you have wow okay excellent well not excellent but thank you for letting me know thank you so much were you held in here because you needed to sober up I promise you won't be in trouble if you tell me. It's just between you and I now. Maybe you hang out in here because there is so much liquor in here and you like to drink. What I am going to... Yeah, awesome, thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another way to talk to me besides what I had on earlier. Thank you so, so much. I know it's hard to talk about, isn't it? If you had a drinking problem, I don't, I don't blame you for not wanting to admit it. But I'm going to give you this other device. It's called, it's a device in my hand. You could say words through it.
Yeah, I heard that too. Is that like wrestling? Uh-huh. So we've been hearing a lot of bad names being spoken to us through this device. Does somebody, does somebody call you bad names? Does somebody make you feel like a lesser person? Are they mean and cruel to you? I thought you said something about uh, a meeting. Fake? What's fake? Try to talk really slow to me. Wendy? Okay. Okay, that sounded like somebody that was drinking. Something like you don't like somebody and you're mad. Totally. Did you get no? Did you get in a fight? You can tell me if you got in a fight. Well, that wasn't very nice. Did you just hiss at me? I'm not scared. He loves you. He loves you? So what? So what? Okay, that was really creepy. I'm not sure what it said, but that was creepy. Yeah. Can you... can't quite understand what you're saying so I'm going to turn this other one on. Can you touch that other ball above it? It lights up as well. A couple of weeks ago there was a man that came in here and he said that he like worked here when it was a firehouse or whatever and he said that he personally had witnessed like people coming out of body bags out of this building. Were you a fireman in this building? Can you turn that flashlight back on if you were a fireman? Hey, just say no, you just said that, and I'm getting some funky. It's like coming and going. Are you recording? So, I'm recording now, I just started recording. You got that last little bit right there where that chair is. Okay. It wasn't like one, it was just like a I wonder if they were the person taking out the body bag. As soon as you said whatever you said the last time. Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. And then when you were talking about the guy in body bags. Yeah, he said that the this was like the like the holding cell or whatever, and he said that he personally had witnessed multiple people. Are you warming up to me? <laughs> 
Tell me your story. Do you want to tell me anything while I'm in here? You do? Okay. Tell me. I'm sure it was, you know, now you're just playing. Or are you reading my mind? That was me. Can you turn on that other, on the torch or that other ball? Just so you can prove that you're listening to me. Please. Now we're in the complete darkness. I can't see anything. Are you going to still talk to me, please? Are you done with me? Did you stop talking to me? Huh? They stopped talking to me. It sounded like you got you a lot. Like a good conversation. I tried to go to Vox. Yeah. And I got some words, but it was really hard to understand. But because he's drunk. Oh. Lost a cat ball, and now I just completely nothing through ghost. And he completely shut down on me. Maybe that's why he said we had a little blip on the SLS yeah. in the hallway there. Yeah. It didn't last very long. I do think it's probably not going to get cool. What are we doing on the flashlight and stuff? Anyway? Not a, a couple. Yep, yeah, two or three, and that was about it. I got fool, demon, and bedroom. So they're fool. still. F-O-O-L. Yeah, they're still throwing out these names, like picking on us. We're gonna give you one more thing to talk through, and then if not, you're all gonna call it a night. Cause I'm tired of being insulted. Seriously. Okay. I'm sure anybody that's ever been in this building knows how to use a dousing rod and what they're used for. And this you can easily use my energy to help you. So please, if you want to talk to us through these, cross them in an X in front of me. Cross them in an X right in front of me if you want to talk to us through them. Thank you. If you are a man, uncross the rods in front of me. Straight in front of me if you're a man. Straight in front of me, so I can ask you another question. If you used to attend meetings for the city in this, this room. This isn't the place. This isn't the place, it says. Okay. No. If you used to attend meetings this for the city. This is my place. Is my place? Yeah. Okay. That's unusual. I've never heard that before. No. If you attended meetings here for the city, can you cross the rods in front of me? 
You attended meetings here for the city across the routes in front of me. Football. Football. I don't well it could have been about football, but I doubt it. Cross them all the way in front of me, please. Sell. Sell. C or S? S E L L okay. like cell. Like a jail cell? No. S, S like cell oh. something. Okay. Gotcha. No, I lost my train of thought. Please uncross the rod straight in front of me. I have another question. Never. Okay. If this is your place, please point both of these rods in the direction of where you used to sit in the meetings. Point both rods in the direction and where where you used to sit in the meetings. Please. I need both rods to go in the direction where you used to sit. Both rods, please. You're only really pointing one rod. Oh, that was me. I did that. All right. So apparently you sat in that corner. Did you used to lead the meetings? If you led the meetings, point the rod on my left hand straight in front of me. If you had to make decisions for the city, point the rod in my right hand to the front. If you had to make decisions for the city, I need you to point the rod in my right hand to the front. All the way, please. You're doing a good job. Pull P U L L. Okay. Like pulling teeth, I just heard. You were really proud of your job, weren't you? Point. Rumor. That's the rumor. Mm -hmm. Point both rods away from each other if you were very proud of your job. Point both rods away from each other if you were proud of your job. Idiotic. Wow. <laughs> what did I say? Idiotic. <laughs> They're back to name calling again. Do you have Do you have um the wide access to camera sensors? Yeah. We just like pull up and look at it. I'll just take my phone off there. I see something on the Because I keep place. hearing that, because I just keep hearing, like, the whole time I've been up here, it just sounds like it's downstairs. Mm hmm I feel like some of it's the air conditioning and the... Hmm. Well, like, you know how, like, the sound of, like, people's shoes on that concrete yeah. down there? Actually, the just messaged me, so, are we on it? I was like, yes, we are. <laughs> I keep hearing, like, the, you know what I mean? Like, when yeah. people's shoes go yeah. like, down yeah. there. I keep hearing that, and then I heard the ice machine. But I don't know. Like, at least, it, I feel like I'm going to go look around the corner and somebody's just like, there's a cap off flashlight. Flashlight and cap off. Are you getting them, Jail? So, is somebody downstairs then? That's what I'm going to So, know. they're is downstairs. downstairs? <sighs> okay, first of all, I want to ask this guy one more question. I have a feeling, see, he's very hesitant to tell me he was proud of his job. I think there are. 
Julie. Julie? Electricity. Electricity. And this I is Julie as in the female name. Feel like it's him they're calling the names. I think they're mad at him. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what he's trying to tell us that Cap they're off. mad. Cold chills. Can you cross these rods straight in front of me if it's you they're calling the names all night? I have legit goosebumps right now. I know. I have bad goosebumps. The cat balls and I'll be into Cross them, cross them in front of me if it's you they're talking about. Oh yes. my god, I can't think of this. See, we're they're not talking to us at all. So sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. So they were telling us, he was telling us that's what they call him. Oh. Or it's them. Flashlight. Flashlight. It's them. Flashlight. Shut yeah. up. No, I got chills everywhere. It's we're finally figuring it out. We are so see, sorry. See yeah. what happens if you figure it out. Yeah. That is so sad. That is sad. We would never call you anything like that. Right. We're your see, friends. There it is again. I just heard it again. Like something downstairs. Like well, there's nothing see. down there that I can see. Well, we we don't think that you're an, an imbecile, right. and we don't think you're stupid. Yeah, we're really sorry. Do not listen to them. I'm sure that you were just doing the best job you could for the city. Grocery. Grocery? grocery? <laughs> that grocery store? Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you were just doing the best you could for the city, right? Sherry. Sherry with an I. And a couple. We believe you. I'm so sorry that Others may not have felt the same way. Can you turn something on if it's help talking to us at all? Everybody that works here now in this building is your friend. You're among friends now. I would love for you to touch something. We command it. We command it. Okay, so that's still the person that's being mean. Or people that are being mean. You can feel okay here with them because they are not your enemy. All right, well, we appreciate what you did do, and we're going to head back downstairs and. Silence. Okay. I do not take orders from bullies, yeah. so you can try all you want, but I don't yeah. take orders. You're not going to tell us what to do. Right. You're now. It, I understand the person that this was your place, that's fine, but the people bullying you cannot order us around. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for talking to us. To your left. To my left? To your left. Are you to my left in the tank? You certainly didn't scare me in there. All right, well, we're going to close up for the night, but thank you. Hey, lovelies, that wraps up another episode of the Get Spooky Society here in Lawrenceburg, Indiana at station number one, station house number one, which is a firehouse. And I'm surrounded by boots, fire, hat, and a big old hose back here. We are really... Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was ice because it's now a tavern. <laughs> <laughs> that was we're not spirits. We're not spirits. Debunked. <laughs> we're really excited to bring this episode to you. So until next time, stay, stay spooky. spooky.